UB back in the early 2000s started what was the precursor to online learning. Picture like the padded envelope, uh, DVD with the with the label on it, it's got the UB logo, uh, groundwater engineering, volume one, class number three, February 2006, whatever that whatever that date was. You know, pop it in there, watch it, and it was literally a video of you know the class, and you see everybody back of everybody's head, and the teacher up there, this whiteboard. It was a unique way to do it. Mike Klesikowski, I got my master's degree at UB in the class of 2008. I used to drive by the Bethlehem Steel site every day in high school. It was just closing, but it was still this mammoth old industrial site. I always thought as a teenager, kind of driving back and forth, it would be really cool to be part of the rejuvenation of that land. So I went back to UB and they had an environmental engineering program, which was right up my alley. It took me several years as it was to get a master's degree and a thesis and all that. Most of the instructors were teachers that also worked in the field, you know, so it wasn't just lectures, it was very practical. It's definitely served me in my professional life well. The majority of the work that we do is investigation and remediation of contaminated sites. Our first redevelopment project uh, back in 2008 were the first eight wind turbines that you see. But it's been very rewarding to contribute just a little bit to the to the resurgence through helping clean up many of these sites. Sites like the Bethlehem Steel site, sites like where Harbor Center is. The founders of the 11 day power play, Mike and Amy Lezikowski. My wife, Amy, was diagnosed with breast cancer back in 2009, pretty aggressive form of breast cancer actually, but she kicked it to this day is healthy, which is great. In 2015, my mom uh, was diagnosed with cancer. She ended up passing away in 2016, like you just get sick of it. That's when the 11 Day Power Play was born. We organized our first event in 2017, and uh, we decided to try to the world's longest hockey game as a uh, fundraiser for Roswell Park at the time. World record, Buffalo. Ever since then, it's, uh, it's taken on a life of its own. We thought we were doing one event, and now we're in year seven. We're gonna have over 8,000 participants after this game ends. Now we have this way to raise literally millions of dollars. We're probably going to exceed $10 million this year, total raised in seven years. To help someone not die or be treated or whatever, why wouldn't you do that? It just seems uh, surreal. Amy and I feel like we just want to continue to raise money and put on events because it's the right thing to do. We're going to continue playing this game until there's nobody left to play for. Cancer doesn't stop and neither will we. I'm very proud of going through UB, both my master's degree and the CEL program. I think I'm just a more well-rounded, educated, business professional in person, having gone through those programs. We'll continue to stay in Buffalo for my professional career, because I love it here. It's the best community in the world.